A popular restaurant on Main Street in Hyannis is changing directions. The International Inn will not face additional punishment for earlier violations, and the licensing authority may soon be reviewing operating licenses for privately owned parking lots. These stories on this episode of Barnstable Today. It's Monday, November 14th, 2016. I'm Sarah Mannell. Owners of the Beach Tree Cantina in Hyannis are making some big changes. Manager Ben Soro went before the licensing authority to request a closure of the establishment through next April. Our goal here is to um, uh, ask for a, uh, a closure of the restaurant, temporary closure of the restaurant, in order for us to uh, rebrand the Beach Tree Cantina into something um, new and different. Um, as you can see on this, uh, the papers that I had typed out here, it gives a um, a somewhat of an outline of the exterior renovations and improvements, which was going, probably going to take somewhere between two and a half and three months uh, to complete all the uh, renovations. Soro says on top of interior renovations, the restaurant will also be updating its menu. Um, uh, we don't actually have a name yet, so we're, 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 we have a lot of names that we're trying to work out. But um, our goal is to actually, um, for lack of a better word, it would be like a southwestern sea bar. And what I mean by that is, is we want to put a wood-fired um, grill inside the kitchen, um, steaks and uh, fresh local seafood, along with some southwestern fare from last year. The licensing authority voted to approve the closure. A change in management is expected when the restaurant reopens next spring. The licensing authority will take no further action against the International Inn Bar and Grill after the establishment was forced to close earlier this year for violations. The restaurant's attorney, David Lawler, requested the board adopt the recommendations of the Massachusetts Alcohol Alcoholic Beverages Control Commission. It was, as uh, Mr. Scali indicated, that there was two decisions by the ABCC. The first nullified the, the suspension of the, um, of the license. The second one dealt with the issue of the change of name, which I acknowledged was a violation, um, and the um, it was recommended by the ABCC that this board basically guilty filed. I mean, just stick it in the file and acknowledge that it was in. Uh, when all this came about, uh, the bar went back un under the name International Inn, I believe, whatever the name is right now. I think it's International Inn Bar and Grill, or whatever is approved by the town is what they're going under. So I would just ask that the court, um, that this board adopt uh, the recommendations, or the decision actually, not a recommendation, the decision of the ABCC. Um, I don't believe you have to do anything with the first one, because there was a decision that was made overturning this board. And um, the second one was a recommendation that uh, because it was a, 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 a misuse of a name, and it was acknowledged that it was done, it was done by mistake and it's consistent with this board's uh, punishment actions throughout the, the history of this board is that some uh, a violation of that nature is generally filed found you know guilty you know that is what the um, ABCC I believe recommended the licensing authority member Gene Berman asked attorney David Lawler for clarification Mr. chairman I I've read this the notice that we have in our hands and the, it disturbs me that the ABC's recommendation that no further action be taken against this licensee as any penalty or sanction, that disturbs me. That says, does that say in the future? No, no, no I, I mean, if I may, Mr. Berman. Does it say so? No. If I, if, if I may, Mr. Berman, it's not, it's not, no, I'm, obviously my client is obligated to follow the rules and regulations going forward. What was before the board was an issue that this board rendered a decision on. I appealed that decision, and the ABCC, after a trial, agreed um, with my position, essentially, and ordered that the, this board's decision was nullified. So there's no punishment as associated with that, but obviously my client has to go forward. 
And the good news is this, this has been going on for a couple of years. There have been no problems since. And, you know, I mean, that's, you know, I think if you look at the multiple cases I've had before the board, when there is an issue that does go before the ABCC, and I apologize, mm -hmm. I have a sore throat, I have a lozenge in my mouth. Um, the, um, you know, the applicant in this case has, for lack of a better term, abided by all the rules and regulations. And well, they did serve, a, obviously, a suspension. They did, yeah. 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 They served, a, you know, up until the time, it, yeah, mm -hmm. they served a, uh, a suspension on a, um, because of the Board of Health. And, oh, here's David. If um, Just in the nick of time. Exactly. Um, so, again, my recommendation is that uh, the ABCC order be adopted, not order, um, decision be adopted. I'll let Mr. Attorney Houghton address the board. Ultimately, the licensing authority voted to accept the recommendations of the ABCC. As such, the International Inn, Bar and Grill will not face any additional punishment for previous violations. The licensing authority could soon have control of licensing of privately owned parking lots in Barnstable. Consumer Affairs Supervisor Elizabeth Hartsgrove updated the board during this week's licensing authority hearing. Just as an FYI to the board themselves is that uh, the town manager is working right now with a team. Um, Mr. Scali and I and uh, Officer Gallant are part of that team. We're working on revising the private parking lot rules and regulations with the consideration that the authority be transferred to the licensing authority. Uh, similar to like the pedicabs where the rules and regs are town manager regulations, but the approval and uh, compliance aspect of it falls on the licensing authority. He has requested that once the draft has been finalized, the first draft has been finalized for review, that we pass it before you for comments. And, um, and then he will be holding two public hearings for comments as well and I believe on the timeline it is in January and February um, but that will be coming before you probably in the next four three or four weeks on our timeline that we have it's pretty um, it's pretty aggressive timeline but uh, he would like that accomplished prior to the licensing uh, the new license being issued for 2017 which theirs is on May 1st so um, we're hoping to get everything over if the board um, thinks the same way and, and uh, wants to have that under their belt as well. Director of Regulatory Services Richard Scally says the board's input will be imperative during that the process. The, obviously your comments are important because you'll be looking at those and enforcing those in the future. Um, we've gone through a number of drafts with these rules already, a number of changes, and the latest comments are being uh, added to the to the draft by um, uh, town council um, to make it look like a more real document and and, and uh, reasonable document for for the licensees and for the public as well. The other comment I wanted to make is that a couple of com of, of commissioners here have come to me um, with meetings with regards to our our regular rules and regulations and concerns for administration of those rules and how they'll be handled. And as I've told the commissioners that have come to visit me. Um, uh, you know, our philosophy is consistent uh, 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 mediation, uh, talking with licensees first to uh, make sure that they're in compliance and to give them warning. Um, I, I want to assure the commissioners that we are not overzealous in, in, in administering any new rules and regulations um, and that Officer Gallant is very reasonable in, in uh, investigation and uh, compliance uh, and we assure you that uh, you needn't be concerned that there'll be a, a, a problem with us uh, uh, administrating them unfairly. So I uh, just wanted to assure anybody who has concerns uh, that we are watching this very closely. I will be watching it very closely as well uh, to make sure that it's done in a very consistent and fair manner. And we, of course, will continue to follow this developing story. We'll be sure to tune in to our hour-long news program, Barnstable This Morning, weekdays at 8 a.m., on tomorrow's show, we will chat with Police Chief Paul McDonald. We'll talk with DPW Director Dan Santos. Plus, we'll have all the news and information you need. For Barnstable Today, I'm Sarah Mannell.